Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I've had to come inside. I'd, I'd planned to do this inside or in the greenhouse, but it, we've had so much rain here um, and it's still really wet outside. So my apologies, I've, I've come into my workshop. Um, so my apologies about the, the vintage radios and televisions in the background, as you'll see, when I'm not gardening, I'm a, I'm a bit of a womble and um, I repair this kind of old vintage equipment. Um, but that's not here what we're to do today. Um, obviously, it's, it's early December. Um, I've had to change my plans uh, about wreath making. Um, we normally have a bit of a family get together and do it as a, as a family thing uh, with my sister and her two daughters. Uh, sadly, this year, one of her daughters, who's a teacher in Bristol, uh, has, did, has got COVID. She's not um, not too bad. Um, she's okay, but obviously she can't travel or come up this year, and um, we don't <laughs> and we don't want to get it neither. So um, we've changed plans, and we're not doing that. So I'm um, going to see if I can knock one together up again myself. I'm going to do um, try and do a more rustic wreath this year, just to hang on my outside gate. And the plan is um, what I'm going to try and do is rather than use um, a lot of wire to make a circle frame to put my, you know, outer material on, you know, any greenery, ivory, holly, such like, I'm going to try and make a natural um, circular frame this year um, out of bits and pieces I've cut off in the garden. And I've got some of my um, twisted nut tree. It, it sometimes from the roots it comes back natural to a hazel and grows straight, and that's very that's very bendy. So I've got some of that. I've got some green bamboo. Um, if you saw the video that I did about plant stakes in the summer, I use this green bamboo, which is um, very bendy when it's green, and you can um, bend it round. So I'm going to try and do that. And um, just for the start. Um, I've got an old washing up bowl, um, which I use in the garden for various things. And I've just put the first piece of hazel round this to try and get a reasonable shaped circle. And I might um, put the next few pieces round that as well to try and keep the circle going. Um, don't worry about any bits like that that stick out. We can soon prune those off you know, after with the secateurs. So um, I'll turn the camera around and I'll put a couple more bits on here to show you what I'm trying to achieve here. I don't know where this is gonna work because I've never done this, but we'll have a whirl anyway and see, um, you know, if I can um, make a, a wreath circle out of natural material. Uh, and I think I'm getting somewhere at last now. Um, as I don't worry about the bits sticking off, they can be trimmed afterwards. Um, and I'm putting plenty of ties on there with this um, hemp garden twine tie thing, um, which sort of just, just holds it. I think when it's enough to, um, when it's kind of bound together more, um, it will hold itself naturally um, as it's beginning to do. Um, but you do need to tie it in well, I'm finding. <laughs> and there again, you can't pull this uh, twine too tight, otherwise you tend to break that off then. It's very... Um... So there we go. I mean, you can get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve there, and I shall carry on now and... Um, weave some more around that and try and get a, you know, a, a more depth to it. Um, obviously, because when you start, you know, putting your stuff on it, you want plenty of room. Very often the metal ones you buy, you've got two, an inner and an outer ring, and then some wires that go, so you, you do need plenty of, um, so I'll carry on. I'm quite happy with that, how that's going. I'll carry on trying to form my circle now with my, um, green um, twigs, branches, bamboo, and um, see how we get on. So I'm um, just spreading my um, last few little bits round now 
of my... Um, uh, it took me quite a long while to do this, um, hence why I wasn't going to film it all. Um, having actually kept, kept the circle on the bowl, because I found that easier to wrap the um, branches and bamboo and what have you round, um, I think one problem, probably my things were a, were a tad too springy you know you might do better with um like actual uh small tree branches um they might be more brittle certainly um and the one good thing about these were they are you know you certainly can uh, like the bamboo even quite a sizable bit like this you know you, uh, I, I did break that bit but um and like the um the hazel it is very it has got a lot of you know um Going to cut that bit off it has got a lot of bend in it um and i was just weaving some little bits in just to fill out any bits that i didn't think you know perhaps had got enough in kind of thing and once you get you know quite a few more uh kind of round your bowl obviously it does get easier and um, we lift that off now. You can see, I'm quite happy with that. Um, it looks quite natural. Um, and um, it's a circle air to now um, build my wreath off. And um, it's not gonna be, you know, an amount, you know, something too, I'm gonna keep it quite simple this year and um, probably keep to three or four, you know, some holly, some other bits of evergreens and just sort of work it round um and i think that's that's brilliant um you know there's there's nothing this is all organic as i say the um it's hemp string which could you know it, <laughs> it could do with perhaps being a little bit stronger because you know that tends to break very easily and it's all stuff that i've um cut off from the garden this morning so we'll come back when I um, start doing the wreath now. And um, I think I should have to move in the greenhouse for that. Um, I've made quite a mess in my workshop doing this, but it was just easier with the light on and somewhere to put the bowl down on a work surface um, to work on. So yeah, quite pleased with that. So I've now moved into the greenhouse. Um, <laughs> the, the greenery is still a bit wet after we had so much rain again yesterday. Um, but what I normally do is try to make like um, almost, I've got some lovely holly berries still this year. The pigeons haven't been able to get to the lower um, part of the holly. Um, so the berries have really stopped on lovely this year. So what I try and do is like kind of make little like bunches up of various greenery um so like that you can hear them you can hear the holly bellies rolling onto the floor i shall have holly trees coming up in my greenhouse um and then i've got some very ancient vintage wire which i thought would be a good thing because it's it's using this up and it's a nice cloth covered um lightweight kind of wire and just wire those together. There's no, really no science to this. It's just, you know, um, and then basically those get wired onto my wreath like that. Um, there again, if, if you didn't want to use wire, I suppose you could tie them on, but that would be quite laborious. Um, it's so easy to, um, if we start with that one there and just see, I mean, you can, if you're not happy with it, you can soon cut the wire and move off and move it round again and just wire it. And obviously this is also helping to, um, to keep the um, hoop together because I say it is, it is a green, uh, <laughs> made a very springy uh, material and um, so that's our first piece on so just as a quick update I've added a few more little bunches um, I've had to go off and do other things as well um, 
but yeah it's shaping up quite nicely um yeah i'm, I'm quite happy 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 how that's going um i mean don't be afraid if you're not happy with something as they cut it off you've got secateurs you can if you've got something sticking out too far you can just prune you know um it's only you know a very rough um there, there's no as I say, it's, it's not rocket science. And um, so I'll carry on and put some more little bunches round and um, see how we go, see what I think to it. So there we go. That's um, <laughs> one very organic, quick, um, hanging Christmas wreath for a door or a gate. Um, perhaps you won't want it on a door because the number of times you open it, you know, the holly, <laughs> the holly berries will tend to fall off. but. Um, it's cost me nothing to make. I've made it in under an hour. Um, perhaps needs a bit more titivating, tidying up in places, little bits more putting in. You can go on and on and on doing that if you want. Um, but I hope that just shows you that anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And all I have used here is um, the twigs from the garden to make the circle some greenery and holly berries from the garden i've actually bought nothing the wire was um, antique cloth covered very thin um, garden wire which i've had i think i think my grandfather gave me that years and years ago so as i say it's cost me absolutely nothing so i'm i'm happy with that i'm quite pleased with that um, as i say um, there's one or two bits down there that just need probably a little bit more wiring in like that but um yeah it is what it, you know it is what it is and it's um you can look at it and say well i did that and created that and i think that's always better than going out and spending 18 20 25 pounds on, on buying one which would probably look better but it's not the same um you know achievement to think that's cost nothing and it's all from the garden which is really what christmas is all about isn't it anyway as always thanks for watching and um, thanks to the new subscribers please do like comment and um, wherever you are in the world it's a bit wet i know but good gardening and um, i'll catch up with you very soon with another video until, until that point in time my best wishes and bye for now i'll go and uh, finish this off and then hang it on my gate so bye for now <laughs>